The NRM Parliamentary Caucus met on Monday evening at State House in Tebe. President Museveni, who is also the NRM Party National Chairman, explained to the MPs the events that led to the violence in Arua and the actions taken by security agencies thereafter. The president informed the caucus that the security officers responded following an attack on his convoy by supporters of Arua Municipality MP candidate then Kasiano Wadri and his backer, Chadondo East MP Robert Chagulanyi. We heard from him, from the horse's own mouth, that they pelted his car with the stones, uh, one of which hit the rear mirror, but he was not hurt. And he was only informed, you see, they did not stop, they had to go. Uh, but he thought that there were the normal bangs that the, the youths or the people, you know, do when he's in a crowd. However, the controversial issue of the torture of Honorable Chagulanyi and Michiana Municipality MP Francis Zake, the president told MPs that the two fought with security operatives during arrest and that the operatives acted with a lot of restraint. They said when they wanted to arrest them, they tried to box them, so they also had to fight back. Thank God they did not use guns. Two weeks ago, Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga appointed a six-member ad hoc committee to investigate the torture of the MPs. In its findings, the committee pinned security operatives for the grave torture of the legislators, some of who are now hospitalized. However, during the meeting which was closed to the media, President Museveni advised MPs that debating the ad hoc committee report would be prejudicial since matters connected to the Arua violence are now before the High Court in Gulu. He just, he just questioned uh, the reason for, the, for the, 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 the investigation when the matter was in the court. That's where he stopped. On the torture of James Akena, a photojournalist with Reuters, the president told the MPs that he was briefed by security agencies that Akena was mistaken for a petty thief and rioter suspected to have been trying to steal a journalist camera. However, the president acknowledged that security agencies made some mistakes in quelling riots, especially in Mitiana, where innocent people in the commuter tax were shot at and one killed on the spot. Another letter succumbed to his injuries in hospital. President Museveni says the errant officers have been arrested and will be prosecuted. So that one he admitted it was wrong because they should have even shot in the air. But why did he shoot direct and that taxi was not part of the riot? So that's what he explained. The legislators asked the president for an extended interaction, which he promised to convene between September and October at the National Leadership Institute in Chankwanzi District. Ali Mivule, NTV.